Hi guys, welcome back to Bentley House. I'm Aira and today I'm going to be showing you seven DIY handles for miniature drawers or cabinets. These are things that I just, I've done several times or I've thought of recently and wanted to try out. So I thought I'd make a video and share them with you. Some of the things you're going to need is a paper cutter and you can also use scissors if you don't have one of these this just helps me keep my cuts straight you'll need some cardstock paper this is important that you use cardstock so that your handles are strong you'll need a few different pliers whatever you have and something that can cut wire you'll need some glue you can use any kind of pva glue i'm just using simple elmer's glue and it works just fine um, I have several different punches that I use. This is where you can get creative. Um, punches can be found at Walmart, several different craft stores, Hobby Lobby. So get creative. Once you see how I put these together, you can kind of think through what punches you might need. You also need Q-tips. You don't need this many, just a couple will work. Um, so I just put the whole box out there. <laughs> you don't need this many and also some little um, stud earrings and I got these at Walmart for about five dollars for all of those I'm sure you can get them cheaper other places but that's just where I got these from and I also got some floral wire from the dollar store I saw it and I thought hey I can make handles out of this so that was a dollar for I think it's like six feet of wire and this was also at the dollar store it's a little nail decorating kit and it has little gems in it so I'm going to use that later on also you will need some kind of drilling implement I lost my uh, electric drill um, and so I'm just using an exacto knife with a drill put in the end of it and then also another drill bit later on it doesn't fit into the exacto you will also need an exacto knife with a blade and a pencil so here is the sample board I made I just made seven seven different false drawer fronts so that I could show you the seven different DIY styles and this is made out of matte board but these would also very easily work on uh, wood drawers so the first set you're going to need the small drill and you want to make sure you get a drill bit that is the same diameter as the back of the earring studs so just check that out that's why it looks so thin you'll need a pencil to mark where the studs are going and you'll also need to get the stud earrings out so the first thing I'm going to do is mark where I want my handles to be and I'm eyeing it but you can totally measure it if you are someone who is who wants them in the exact right spot um, so that's that's up to you after you've marked the spots on the drawer where you want the handles to go um, you can just take the drill and whether it's electric or by hand just drill through slowly the drill electric drill can make it go a lot faster but I do have a lot um, easier time handling the manual drill by using the exacto so now I'm gonna choose the earrings and I want to choose something that I think in real life would be easy to use as a handle I don't want anything too far out there although I know that um, there are some very decorative handles and so this can be fun to play around with and just be creative but I chose these little bows and I think they'd be cute on like a little girl's dresser or um, just like in a vanity scene something like a woman's boudoir or something so what you want to do is take the glue and put it on the base of the stud earring where the metal will be going through the drawer front and so I'm going to do that on both pieces and stick them through and after that you're just going to turn it over and as you can see the earrings are sticking out um, if you have a drawer that's opening you definitely want to cut those off if it's just a drawer front and it's sticking into the furniture you don't really need to worry about it but I'm gonna go ahead and cut them off with a wire cutting tool and just let them dry and those should be good to go The second is going to be very similar, same steps. 
Um, this one is just going to be a center drawer handle and you can use some of the bigger earring studs for this because usually if it's a center handle it needs to be more substantial to pull the whole drawer out. So I'm going to use the large flower handle and I'm just going to do the same exact steps. I'm going to dry fit it, make sure I like how it looks and then I'm going to add the glue to the base and then um, put it back through the drawer front and then snip off the back. So these are just two simple looks you can get by using earring studs and it's super easy, takes no time at all, and it looks really nice. For the third set of drawer handles, you want to get out your punches, your cardstock and q-tips, along with the X-Acto knife uh, for cutting. So the first thing you want to do is uh, make six punches and that's going to be three punches for each handle because we want our handles to be three cardstock thicknesses thick. So I'm just going to take my glue and glue three of these butterfly punches together right on top of each other making sure that the edges line up. So six punches will make two handles. So there's the first one and the second one done. Now I'm going to take my Q-tip and as I roll the Q-tip I'm going to use the X-Acto knife to cut through it. And I do this to try and keep the cut as straight as possible. And this is going to be the back of our drawer handle. So I want to make two of these little Q-tip slices as equal to each other as possible because I want them to stick out from the drawer as equal as possible. After you've cut those through, then you can just glue them onto the back of your butterfly punches. And this is going to make one handle. And so you'll do the same for the other butterfly punch and then you will have two butterfly handles that you can um, paint. And so right now I'm going to set them aside and make the next set of handles and then I will paint them all at the same time. So now I'm going to take another punch. This is a more complicated punch and I really just want uh, one of those um, size flowers. So I found six flowers, did the same thing, glued them on top of each other. So three of those small size flowers per handle. So I did six of those punches total and I can save those other punches for other things so I just kind of brushed them to the side and saved them. I cut the q-tips and glued them on the back just like I did the butterfly handles. But we are going to embellish these a little bit more after painting so that's why I made a whole second set for you to see. So now I'm going to paint the butterfly handles just a cream color. Those are going to be kept very simple and um, so the easiest way to do this since they're so tiny is to use pliers but if you don't have pliers you can just <laughs> use your fingers but your fingers will probably get uh, painted. So um, after they're painted it helps seal the paper and it helps keep the backs on a little bit better. It's just an extra coat of protection so even if you want white handles I suggest you still paint them with white paint. So now I'm going to take the glue and um, I'm first going to mark where I want the handles to be. Just the uh, same thing, I'm eyeballing it, but you can measure it if you like to. And then I'm going to put the glue a generous amount, but not to where the glue will be dripping down the front of my drawer because that could mess up my paint job. So I'm just putting enough on there so it'll make a good seal between the handle and the front of the drawer. I'm just going to put it onto the mark where I marked onto the drawer and get it glued on there. And then I'm not going to touch it until it's completely dry because if I keep moving it around and messing with it, it's never going to dry and seal correctly. So for the second set of the handles we just made, the little flowers, I'm going to use these nail decorator gems. So they're supposed to be where they go on the end of your nail, but um, I'm going to use them on the end of the handles just to spruce them up a little bit. So these would be really cute for um, like a fancier scene, something where you want a little bling and a little shimmer. 
they're small enough that they can go on the end of these really tiny handles and just give them that little extra pizzazz. So I'm gonna do this for each handle and let that dry and then I will be gluing these on in the same exact way that I glue I glued the butterfly handles on. So there you go. Those are those they're very similar sets, but there's two different ways that you can embellish them and uh, you can keep them simple or you can jazz them up just a little bit. The, let's see, what are we on? Number five. The fifth set of handles or handle is going to be uh, a little bit different. You're going to use the paper cutter to cut a thin strip of paper. This is, the paper thickness is probably a little bit thicker than an eighth inch, but you can just kind of judge your own how thick you want the handle to be. I'm going to cut it um, a little bit longer than a half inch, so maybe um, three quarters of an inch. And um, I'm going to cut two pieces that are the same width and the same length and glue them on top of each other. Just like we've been doing, I want the cardstock to um, be strong, so that's why I'm giving extra layers. So after the layers have been glued together, while the glue is still a little bit wet, I'm going to start shaping the handle. So first I'm gonna fold it into a U shape, and then each side of the U I'm going to fold into an L shape. And this is going to create the handle shape that I need to glue against the drawer. So just I just keep messing with it while the glue is wet, because if I do this while the glue is wet, the glue will help it dry in the correct shape, and when I paint it, it won't warp. So now I'm checking that I like its size against the drawer front and it, you can just leave it like this or you can take a punch and kind of um, embellish the size of the handle and I'm showing that because that punch didn't work but it's the one I showed you in the beginning. So I got out a new punch and the piece that I want is that little square piece that's going to be punched out and I'm going to use the squares to embellish the sides of this handle. So I'm just gonna line them up, make sure that I like how it looks, and then I'm going to glue them on and let them dry before I paint it. And all of this is being done with Elmer's glue. You can use a different kind of glue, but um, there's nothing hanging off of these or anything, so Elmer's glue seems to work fine and hold really well for all the handles that I've ever made. So after that's put together, you can see it looking a little bit more professionally done with the punch pieces on the side. I'm going to use a coat of gray paint and then I'm also going to use some silver paint just to give it a metallic look because I want these to look uh, metal. I don't want them to look like paper or anything else so um, the metallic paint helps. But you need to put a base coat of paint down first because typically metallic paint is rather see-through. So make sure you put a base coat down first. So after it's done, you can see we look like we have a metal handle here. And I'm just going to put Elmer's glue onto the two sides of the handle and glue it straight onto the drawer front. So this is a very quick and easy way. This is good for um, more antique looking pieces, Renaissance pieces. Um, one last thing you can do is take a black pen and just put a little dot on either side. This makes it look like there's a nail head there. Um, just gives it like a little extra detail. This next set of handles is for people who have cutting machines like a Cricut or a Silhouette Cameo. You can still do these if you don't have a cutting machine, but you have to have a very steady hand with an X-Acto, and I don't. So these are some of the handles that I have programmed into my Silhouette Cameo. They're my own design, and I just drew them in there, and so my machine can cut them out for me, so they're very exact and very small. And once it cuts them out, I can just pull the paper up and I use them in the same way that we did the previous handle where I'm going to take 
two of them per handle and glue them on top of each other. And this, again, helps give them a little bit of strength. And uh, I'm gonna use these flowery ones to the side. These are some of my favorite handles I use on some of my antique looking furniture. And um, I really love these. I'm thinking about making these and um, just selling them as the handles. Uh, Cause I know not everybody does have a cutting machine and so it'd be nice you know, if you could purchase them for a low cost and um, I could just cut them and um, paint them. So like I said, I'm going to um, just glue these together and uh, two per handle. And then while the glue is wet, just like the other ones, I am going to shape them so that the bottom part of the U pops out just like a handle would from the drawer front. So they're going to be painted in a very similar fashion as the um, handle we just finished. I'm going to do a layer of gray and then also a layer of silver, also making these look very um, metallic. But I'm also going to do a wash of black paint which makes them look more antiqued. So here's the finish look. And like I said, I use these a lot on my old furniture. You can also paint them in colors. I just like the metallic finish on them. So I did two for the drawer front here. So my final handle I've actually never done before, but I found this floral wire at the dollar store for a dollar. And I thought I could probably make a handle out of that. So I decided to try it out for this video. Um, it's pretty thick wire and um, it came in all different colors. I, go, I chose gold because gold seems like a pretty common handle color, but there was also purple and green, pink and blue. There wasn't silver because I probably would have chose that. <laughs> but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some pliers and I'm going to start bending it into a U shape. And it is surprisingly strong wire, so I do suggest having pliers. Um, because it's going to be very difficult to do this with your hand. And I'm sure you can find floral wire at other places. I just happened to find it at the, in the spring area of the dollar store. So once it's in the shape of a U on the end, I'm going to cut the sides shorter. And I want to make sure that the sides are even so that my handle sits evenly against the drawer. You can find plier sets like these at places like Home Depot or Harbor Freight and they come in handy a lot. A lot of them come with this little chopper um, set and it, it makes things a lot easier. I use the, <laughs> they come in handy quite a bit. So here's a little handle and um, because it's not, the, the way the wire is, it's not going to sit flush with the front of the drawer. I'm going to want to drill two holes into the drawers, into the drawer front, so that it can sit into the drawer, so that the glue will seal it a little better and I know that it will stay. So I'm going to take my small drill bit and um, I don't mind doing this by hand because I don't want to drill all the way through. I just want to drill a little bit into the front. And if I use a electric drill, it will drill really fast all the way through. You can do that if you want, um, but this allows me to control how much thickness um, I'm taking out with the drill bit. So now that I know that it fits in there, oh, actually it didn't fit, so I'm going to take my pliers and I'm just going to stretch it back out just the tiniest bit and because um, I don't want to have to redrill my holes so I'm going to make sure my handles my handle fits into the hole. So now I'm just going to take my glue I put it into the hole first and then place the handle in and that's it. So these are my seven DIY handle ideas. Um, I hope you liked them. Uh, if you have any other ideas, let me know. I always love uh, learning from other miniaturists, but I hope maybe today you learned something from me. Uh, if you use them on a project, I would love to see it. So please leave me a comment, 
um, send me a picture. I don't know how you do that on YouTube, but I'm also on Instagram. So um, tag me. Um, yeah, I'd love to see what you do with these different ideas. I also was th thinking about maybe doing a uh, video on hinges because I've done a lot with paper hinges. And uh, so if you think you'd be interested in that, I've really enjoyed putting this together for you. So yeah, leave me a comment and like, subscribe, all those YouTubey things, and have a great week. Bye.